flight into New York in about two hours. Let's say you're here on a little business meeting or trying to get through the city to go somewhere else or even just trying to knock out a few things in a short amount of time. I think two hours is a good time to see some of Midtown uh, Manhattan. Uh, I found a route that I'm going to take you to that would actually show us a few locations in Midtown that's on foot, don't need a subway, don't need any kind of transportation and from here we can actually get a few sightseeing spots uh, within a short amount of time before we have to do whatever else we need to do. So I'm here at Penn Station. Penn Station is a location that I chose because it is one of the key locations to uh, be when it comes to traveling to Manhattan. You can take the train from Newark Airport to Penn Station and of course Amtrak and other trains will stop at Penn Station. There is another train station which is Grand Central that we will be passing by so if let's say you do decide to take the train to New York City and stop at Grand Central you can take uh, the same route just starting from Grand Central instead of here in Penn Station because we are doing a complete uh, circle. Uh, keep in mind, this walk, if you go straight without really stopping inside any locations, it'll take you about an hour. We'll try and look at a few little spots and go from there. So, so just outside of the station, depending on where you exit, you can either exit out of this building, which is, uh, I believe Long Island Railroad is, and where the train station, the regular subways are from. And then there's this building here as well. Um, you can be coming out of either one, I believe. I've never gone out of this side before because I don't really come out through here much, but I'm sure it's similar. So since we're already in this area, I think the first stop is just to go check out Medicine Square Garden. Uh, we're just gonna go look at the outside, not gonna really go inside. We're gonna go east towards Harold Park. So this is Madison Square Garden. I really can't go inside, so I can't show you much. And it's quite a big building. Penn Station is actually right below that building there, which is kind of cool if you think about it. Madison Square Garden, where they play all the big sports, has a train station underneath. That's pretty cool. So we're gonna head to Broadway from here and go north towards Times Square. But check this thing out. Right behind me is Madison Square Garden and there's the Empire State Building. That's going to be towards the end of the full circle that we're going to take. So from now, we're just going to say hi and bye to our big Empire State Building and we're going to go towards Times Square. I picked the wrong day to do this. <laughs> this is quite chilly. I'm kind of cold even with this thin jacket. It's like 46 right now. <sighs> All right, well, a little bit of walking around. Let's go and find uh, Herald Square. You know, you know what's in Herald Square? The biggest Macy's in the world. That's what. After like the fourth or fifth uh, story up, you actually get into wooden escalators. We won't go inside just because we're short on time. We're trying to make this two hours work for us. But if let's say your trip is three or four hours, you can do this and actually stop and have a look around and enjoy, you know, the seeing, sightseeing a bit better. You can see the tip of the Empire State Building, which is pretty cool. I don't actually see people walking through this bridge. I wonder if you can actually go through it. We'll have to check it out one of these days. So we are now walking into Herald Square. Um, this is actually Greeley Square, but the area is Herald Square. And just up here is Macy's. But I decided to walk through this little park and uh, go up towards Broadway, just around the corner. And during the summer months here in Greeley Square, they actually have little booths and kiosks where they sell, you know, like street food. It's not actual street vendors, it's more um, actual businesses that put up a little booth where you can try little foods here and there. But it goes up towards uh, the end of this road and Macy's right there on the left. So now we are in Herald Square. Herald Square is between 34th and 35th Avenue. 
on 6th and Broadway. So if you think about the road, 6th uh, and Broadway actually splits into a fork and 6th to the right, left is uh, Broadway if you're facing north. But behind me is Macy's, a cool um, store to check out just because they have so many things going on. So many floors, a lot of floors. In the holidays, it gets very busy, but there's so many things uh, to check out. And it's good to check out uh, off-season as well because there's so many things you can do and you can actually just stay there a whole day if you wanted to. They have restaurants, coffee shops, there's different stores. From here we are going north towards Times Square. Now, here is Macy's. There is a fork. So left and right, you want to stay on the left side. The left side is Broadway. Of course, just read the sign. Uh, but with that fork split, left will be Broadway. And to the right side is 6th Avenue. From here, we're gonna walk up about six blocks. Nothing really going on, there's a lot of shops uh, to the left and right. Shake Shack is here as well. If you wanna go to a really popular Shake Shack, you, you would like to go to Madison Square Park where the original Shake Shack started. It's cool, they have like a big actual shack. From here, we're going towards Times Square. You can kind of see a glimpse of it now with the big giant billboards, electric billboards that's been up. And so we'll go check that out now. Slowly seeing a little bit of the billboards out there. That's exciting to see if it's your first time. And this huge H&M building, which is not actually all H&M. I think it's just a couple of floors, but big H&M sign there. Let's go. So we're at 42nd Street, 42nd Street and Broadway now, and just behind me is Times Square. We're gonna go check that out for a little bit and then we're gonna go back down on 42nd that way to go check out the Public Library and Grand Central Station. So whenever you guys actually come here and you see guys in costumes, and want to take photos with them remember that they work on tips and some people or some of those characters get aggressive if you don't so just have a couple of books on you and be sure to expect to give them a little something for their time because that's why they're out there for is to earn their living trying to get photos from people so here in the middle of the two giant towers there's one tower there and this tower which is being constructed right now usually there's a big screen with a bunch of uh, you know adverts but above this is the actual ball where the New Year's Eve ball drop takes place and this place is crazy around New Year's Eve so the whole big celebration New Year's ball drop this is where it takes place that's where the ball is and what's cool about here there's so many things going on. There's this Brooklyn Diner is a nice diner to go to if you have no idea of where to eat. Simple diner. There's a lot of places to eat, and I will be doing videos of places I like to go eat as a tourist and just for anyone that loves food. But that'll be another video for now. Let's go have a quick look around here and then carry on with the rest of the. Trip. So I'm pretty much in the center of Times Square. All the different billboards. Uh, you have McDonald's, uh, the big Disney shop there, uh, a lot of the stores, and a lot of Broadway advertising. Pretty much, this is the center of Broadway. This is where um, you're surrounded by all the different theaters where you can actually go and watch shows, plays, or musicals. What's cool about this area is where the stairs are, these little stairs that you can go and take photos uh, on or just hang out and watch. But right under it is TKTS, which is a, a ticketing uh, area where you can actually get tickets to shows. And if you go certain times of the day, they have lotteries where you can get uh, pretty affordable prices on certain shows. Sometimes it's not going to be the best show out there, but if you just want to see something for a good, you know, 
amount of money or for a good price then go check these guys out and see what they have to offer there's a big Disney store there you should check that out if you like Disney it's a giant Disney shop they have a lot of Disney New York related things as well as what you normally see in other Disney stores so check it out two stories lots of cool stuff there we managed to buy a lot of things when we go inside so I try to stay away from it or else I'll go broke all right so now I'm walking back towards 42nd Street and from there I'm gonna go west towards uh, the New York Public Library all right we're leaving Times Square and going west on 42nd Street it's only a couple of blocks and we're gonna get to Bryant Park where the public library is. Now during the winter time, Bryant Park actually has a winter village where they have hundreds of shops that sell little arts and crafty type things that something you can use as gifts during the holidays. Lots of touristy style gifts if that's the type of things that you're into. And also just things that are fun. There's a skating rink. Uh, Santa. We actually did a video of it last Christmas. Uh, we'll pop a link here just so you guys can watch it. So if you're here during the holidays, something that you can actually check out. I'm here in Bright Park. Not a lot of people out here today. It's kind of chilly. It makes sense. It's not sunny. It's really not nice to be out. Um, pretty cold. This place does get packed with people just hanging out, especially in the warm summer days where people can come here, bring their food, and just have a little picnic. So right behind me is the New York Public Library. And there's a little bit of grass area here that's pretty much covered when the Winter Village is taking place. And right behind me, just above my shoulder, you could barely see it, but right there is the Empire State Building. Now you can actually get an idea that we are going in a big circle around it. So. At any point, we can actually just go there if we really needed to. If you want to cut your trip short because you're running out of time and want to go straight there, you can definitely just go down the road, you know, follow the streets. It's on 29th and 30th, it's around that area. It's on 30th. If I'm not mistaken, 30, 31st, something like that. <laughs> I'm trying to get my bearings right here. But, all right, we're gonna go head towards the front of New York Public Library. Let's go. Behind me is now the New York Public Library. These little lions right here, little. These lions over here during the holiday season gets wreaths around their necks. Something that the city actually does to make it look a bit more festive. But this place is huge and you can actually go in there. I don't remember if there is a fee. I think it's free to get in. Don't quote me on that. If there is a price, I'll put it right here. But check it out. Another big thing that you can actually go and just wander through. Take a couple of hours if you need to. If you have this extra time, you can actually go in here and just look. There. There's, I remember there's like a video as well, like that little movie that you can watch, I think about the public library. But this is the main library here in Grand uh, Central area. Uh, Grand Central Station is just a block down on 42nd, the same way. But good to have this just to see good photos. So pretty much all the places that we've gone to, if all you want to do is take photos and say you've been there, it's already a good amount of places that you can go to. But from here, we're gonna go west another couple blocks, I think one or two blocks, and we're gonna check out Grand Central Station. So I'm walking away from the library, going west, and from here, Grand Central Station is gonna be to my right, I believe, once we get there. It's about a block down. There'll be signs, you, will, you, you can't miss it. So when you walk away from the public library, it is actually on the left side on 42nd Street because public library was on 41st, um, at least that center part. So, making a left now and uh, checking out this beautiful building. <laughs> Right in the middle, 
is where you want to be. Corridors, there's different trains. Trains I'll take you to different states uh, within just this, around the city as well, you know, to Jersey, Long Island, and like that. But if you were to come to New York and come here, uh, this is a good place to start this exact same route. You're just going to be going this route first and then follow it around in the big circle. Reasons why you'd be coming on this location would be uh, if you took the train here and it stopped here in Grand Central Station or if you took the bus from JFK and I believe there's also a bus from LaGuardia that would stop here at Grand Central Station. Okay I'm now leaving Grand Central Station and we're gonna go south uh, back towards 34th Street. We're gonna cut quick right and from there to the Atlantic State Building. So with the Grand Central behind me, there's another building that I want to show you guys. And it's the Chrysler Building. Just that building right there. Another famous building. I don't know much of the history, but it's a beautiful looking building. <laughs> so this road is about six, seven blocks, and there's really nothing going on here. There are shops that you can go look through, but this is one of those uh, trips where you just kind of go past it really quickly to try and get to Empire State Building. So I decided to cut down 38th Street towards 5th Avenue because there wasn't really much going on on Park Ave. It's a lot of houses, apartment, a lot of apartments and not a good view so I decided I'll cut down towards 5th, made a left and now I'm actually staring at the Empire State. And of course I always don't know my bearings. Empire State Building is, I believe, on the 33rd, uh, on 33rd Street, not uh, 31st, what I think I said earlier. But yeah, so here we go. So if you just go inside, you can actually get tickets to go all the way up or at least to, I believe, the hundred and something floor and um, get to see the city from there. It's a great view, uh, one of the best uh, scenes in the city. There's another one, if you decide to do The Rock, you can also get a great view of the city with Empire State Building and then of course World Trade Center down town and you can get a view from that side as well as seeing uh, Jer Jersey City and all that. So there's a lot of buildings that you can go up and actually get a tour of but from here those are the, that's the entrance to um, get your actual tickets to get up there but we're gonna go past Empire State Building go back west towards Herald Square and uh, go back to where we started in Penn Station so, so. so that's the Empire State Building right behind me just to the west back here to the north is Macy's we're gonna head back towards Penn Station now another five minute walk or so but we're pretty much there so doing this little trip you can actually do it in about one hour 
if you're not really stopping by and taking your time looking around if you just walk the path and take snaps along the way you can do it in about an hour the google maps actually showed me 51 minutes on all the different stops from uh, where I started to going back to Penn Station so one hour if you're in a big rush you can do it or if you want to take your time you have three four five hours it's perfect because then you can actually go inside the shops like Macy's uh, look around the shops in Times Square maybe stop grab a bite to eat there's so many restaurants that I would have loved to show you but with the amount of time that I'm trying to accomplish not enough time for me to actually go in there but you know you can do this in a half day you can even do a whole day trip uh, really just depending on what you're trying uh, how much time you have what you want to do but that's <laughs> lots of honk in here but yeah see that tower again we're walking back and uh, back towards where we started now the thing about this is that it's easy quick you're just seeing midtown you're not going to see all of new york of course right you can't do all of new york in a few hours if it's something that you don't want to walk around there is the big red bus tours that you can do that you just sit down just hop on hop off you know you can hop on hop off to different locations and you can do that for a good day but um if it's something that you just want to get a little exercise a uh, little bit of a walking you can do this route there's um a lot of things you can do to see the city but i just decided i would like to give someone the opportunity to see you know the city when they are very limited in time now this is a good thing to do but if you decide to do this at night please be weary the city is pretty safe but there are certain areas where you know can be questionable like where i'm at right now uh, there's not a lot of lighting at night time so just be very careful uh, about walking certain areas now you know it's safe for the most part but you know only one person one, one person can change that so uh, just be safe when it comes to going to places that you're not familiar with and if it's something that you're not okay with or it doesn't feel right then skip that area and find another way around and of course you don't have to take this place if you need to leave you can always um, skip certain areas it's not a direct route that you should have to follow you know figure out what works best what you want to see more if you want to skip certain areas yeah of course you can do that um, but it's a good way to see a good amount of stuff in a short amount of time so hopefully this actually helped you guys out um, something that you guys uh, want to try if you're in the city for just a day or half day or three hours you know uh, try it out and let me know what you guys thought of if there's any other routes that you would rather do instead of this one let me know comment down below and um, I'd like to try it out and see if it works for me now this uh, vlog or this video took me roughly two hours stopping in certain areas to try and explain things but hopefully for you guys you can appreciate this little trip back at Madison Square Penn Station um, and I will see you guys next time oh if you guys like this I can do more of like you know downtown we can do a trip in Times Square we'll do more of New York we'll do a New York series of, of vlogs and I'm actually uh, looking forward to that I'd like to do more of the city you know we do a lot of Disney stuff but we want to try new things so if you guys like it let us know and uh, we'll see you guys next time bye